Dion Wynne. Hi everyone, welcome back. Maybe welcome for the very first time, and I'm here again with another review for you. And today we'll be discussing Bruno Dumont's latest film, France. And as you may or may not know, a bit of Dumont Kino goes a long way in my household. I do personally love this guy. He has made some banging films, along with some mediocre ones, which are better than most American trash that you will see, so give it a go. He always goes off the beaten track and explores kind of ideas and idealisms that not everybody wants to hear, but he doesn't give a damn about our opinions. And France is one of those films, so enough introducing, let's get talking. The film follows celebrity journalist France Dumont, who is juggling her busy career and personal life. Her life has been turned upside down by a freak car accident. And the little you know, the more rewarding the film becomes. Bruno Dumont really delivers a fascinating kind of satirical observation of broadcast media journalism that I really devoured so much. And this is the strange thing about this film. It has this weird kind of tonal change that really kind of works so well within kind of the Bruno Dumont kind of like cinematic universe, it just blends so well. But deep down in this film, I think it's a really interesting kind of exploration of somebody trying to rediscover their humanity. And I think Lea Sidu, who is amazing in this film, kind of gives so much to a very rich kind of screenplay. And this film really should not work whatsoever but it does because Bruno Dumont made it. But I think this connection that he has with Sedu is really kind of the driving force of why France works so much. Because Sedu came onto this project, she kind of made it into her own because Dumont has actually stated that this film was not intentionally meant to be this funny, but Sedu is actually a bit of a comedian, which I actually did not know. And I really love the way that she kind of just grabbed the film by the horns and took it down her own kind of unique way. And within this kind of satirical melodrama, it is very unhinged in this kind of social political connotations, but it's beyond the conformities of what French cinema can be. And I think it's very challenging for some people because it has, it has divided a lot of critics, which is obviously understandable and most Dumont films do that. But I think with this one in particular, if you kind of get the essence of it, you will really kind of become so absorbed and involved into it. And it just goes off the beaten track like most Dumont films, but it feels like a different kind of approach from him because there is this kind of reality that is kind of blended into this mushiness of what kind of broadcast journalism is. And it's really observational without him kind of giving his opinions or anything like that. It never kind of forces messages on you. It doesn't really spoon feed you. Um, what he's thinking within a political kind of connotation, which is very admirable. And I think that's why France works so well, is that it's a piece that you just have to immerse yourself into, and it's a sink or swim kind of situation because of it. France is Léa Seydoux's film. You cannot deny it. I loved everything about her in this film, and I would love to see her work with Dumont again. It's one of my favorite kind of performances of the year also. It's obviously one of these films that people will just ignore, but you never know, the Césars, she might get a couple of norms. I don't know, but I really loved this essence of that life is tragic and yet comedic, and I think that ethos is something that really kind of drives throughout this whole film. And what is reality as well is just that idea of storytelling, because media broadcast journalism is storytelling because they fabricate and they kind of choose what they want to explore and I think that's what kind of France is about it just kind of meanders around this kind of very tonally unbalanced kind of wave which I really dug and I just everything about this film I just connected with and it's really difficult to kind of fully explain what this film is without going deeper into it, but it gave me a taste of what Dumas is going for next and to see whatever he actually conjures as a next project, I will be fascinated to see. And I really do hope that Lea Seydoux actually works with him again. But France is one of my favorite films of the year. I watched it at Toronto International Film Festival and it was actually my favorite film at TIFF, to be honest with you, even though it's not exactly a TIFF title. But regardless, um, loved it. I 
don't really get the negativity, even though I do understand why people are negative towards it, but that's totally fine. So if you have seen Thrones, please let me know in the comment section below what you thought of it. And if you haven't, please let me know what your favorite Bruno Dumont film is. And I will be back with another review very soon. Thank you very much for watching, subscribing, and for all the love. And I hope you're all doing well. So ta-ta for now. Bye.